For latest astrology video, subscribe Astrodify channel and press this bell icon to get notified when a new video goes live. Hello everybody, welcome to Astrodify. Today we are going to talk about a sun in 11th house. What kind of results we can see if sun is in 11th house and we are going to talk about two cases here. First, if sun is well placed, making good yogas and is, uh, uh, and is strong in 11th, then what kind of results we can see. And second, if sun is in 11th but it is afflicted or weak then what kind of results we can see. So let's start this video. If you want to book a consultation for yourself, you can go on this website. The link is shown in the description. So we are going to talk about sun in 11th house today. Now, the first condition we are going to discuss is if sun is well placed, good and strong. It means that sun is in own sign. Uh, exaltation sign, friendly signs and it is not afflicted by 6th, 8th or 12th lords or uh, uh, Saturn, Rahu, Ketu. Now, if sun is uh, and the zodiac sign in which sun is sitting, that planet is also supporting the sun. It means it, it's well placed in the chart. So, if these are the conditions, then sun will be considered as generally beneficial and supportive and it will have capability to give lots of suitable favorable results in life. So if sun is good and strong, then the thing here is that sun is ambitions, sun is your personality, sun is uh, uh, the uh, what you can say desires to accomplish something. So if sun is well placed in 11th, then it makes person ambitious and mainly provides materialistic ambitions. Uh, the thing here is that in second house, uh, sorry, in 11th house, sun can not only bring material desires and ambitions uh, like for having money, wealth, power, authority, name, status, reputation, all those things. Uh, but it also provides the uh, capability to work towards them, the willpower, the dedication, the commitment which is required to fulfill those ambitions, fulfill those desires that is also provided by sun. So this is a very good placement for not only having the material desires but also to achieve them and fulfill them as well. Uh, uh, for this, you have to check the ascendant and ascendant lord and the moon uh, uh, that how the person thinks, how uh, they, uh, their personality is. But if sun is strong and well placed in 11th, then it means that it is a very suitable position for uh, uh, having material progress in life. So it is a suitable position for having what? Money, wealth, luxuries, power, authority, career progress, reputation, name, all those things in life then it uh, is a good situation for uh, uh, what you can say it uh, for entrepreneurship and business as well uh, but you have to check other combinations it's not necessarily all the time but you if the person is having the yogas for self employment for business then the sun can provide that business acumen that leadership skill uh, that entrepreneurial mind in order to be a businessman as well and it gives success there also now another thing is that uh, sun uh, in 11th can make person uh, what you can say opportunistically professional uh, means uh, the thing here is that and uh, see 11th house is social circles the people who whom you come across particularly through uh, the profession so uh, the thing here is that sun in 11th can make person what you can say somewhat opportunistic in the sense that whether because sun is ego and ego means I myself. So sun here naturally thinks that uh, how everything is benefiting me some or the other way. Consciously, uh, subconsciously, it is the mentality of sun here. So the thing here is that it makes person uh, make good social connections, good professional connections uh, with the uh, people in uh, what you can say senior levels and, uh, uh, and uh, levels of society. So the thing here is that uh, so that ultimately the person is able to benefit from the contacts, the sources, the social circle and the networks which they have made for themselves. So that is a good situation for Sun and hence it makes person somewhat what you can say uh, diplomatic as well. It's a good situation for uh, being, uh, 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 being in a position of uh, 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 neither a friend nor an enemy. You are neutral. So that kind of thing can be seen. Then uh, the thing here is that uh, it makes uh, if you have to see Mercury also for this Saturn and Mercury. If they are strong, the more they are strong, the more this situation will be. So it makes person more practical, rational, logical, clever, observant, gives diplomatic approach, uh, political mindset, 
foresight and hence it is uh, the reason why we can see that because of these qualities sun is able to provide material progress and success in life you have to check other combinations no doubt but in this placement if uh, sun is strong it not only gives you uh, what you can say power and authority but also gives people a respect no matter where you are the thing here is that if sun is well placed it will give people's respect as well uh, people are able to respect you uh, as a individual rather not they are they are not only in fear of you because you have some power over them that's not only the case so if sun is well placed it gives people's respect you need to see jupiter also for this but sun is a good situation in this 11th if it is strong then it gives the ability to express because third and eleventh house play a very vital role in communication expression so the more mercury is strong the more this situation second third and eleventh house and mercury so the better they are sun is going to enhance the ability of communication expression and showcase oneself uh, uh, in an impressive style in front of others huh? to people who have good speaking ability oratorical ability expression ability and they have a presentation skill uh, to um, to present themselves in a really charismatic impressive style in front of others that can be seen with sun in 11th but you need to check second third and 11th lords and mercury mercury plays a very vital role in this then uh, another point here is that depending upon the combinations uh it can make person or you can say scientific uh, uh means scientific in the sense uh, that uh, people who are more driven to science huh? so uh, mercury saturn and rahu the more they are influencing the personality the more this thing can be seen uh, then it is good for several areas like business management and administration stem fields science technology engineering and mathematics fields politics all kind of leadership roles it is good for consulting uh, then banking financial service or insurance industry means financial sector uh, or account sector anything related to money it is good for media and journalism as well then here another point which we can see is that sun uh, can give self centeredness it it is the nature of the sun so sun is like i want the attention i i want the recognition i want to be the center of attention of everybody that is the nature of sun so in 11th house some or the other way whether you want it or not want it uh, sun sun is going to bring that attention if it is strong if it is not then it is not going to bring recognition easily but if it is strong it brings the recognition easily so sun can show uh, self centered approach sometimes or giving attention whether the person wants or not and it but at the same time it uh, increases isolation uh, because sun has what fire so it burns the 11th house so we can see many people who who are your acquaintances who you have uh, social connections on a professional scale but if you talk about real friends then it will be a difficult thing for sun in 11th then uh, uh, here uh, hence what we can see, uh, see is that uh, sun can uh, bring a lot of material uh, uh, progress as well as suitable results in order to fulfill the 11th house of desires so the desires which you have sun is going to help the help you to fulfill them huh? so these are really good results of sun in 11th which we which we have seen now we are going to talk about the second case that if sun is weak and afflicted then what kind of results it can bring so we can afflicted means that sun is debilitated and it is not undergoing niche bhanga it is in enemy signs and the uh, zodiac sign in which it is sitting the lord of that sign is badly placed in the chart making bad yogas in the chart sun is afflicted by saturn rahu ketu or sixth eighth or twelfth lords uh, then uh, and it is in mrityu bhag or in navamsha chart it is badly placed so it means that now sun will lose the power and it can function negatively in order to bring negative results as well so here we can see multiple results you uh, to what i am going to tell here just treat it as a source of information don't jump to conclusions see the entire chart in totality and then analyze that what kind of results a planet can bring and at the same time the results which i am going to tell you can see all of them or some of them or mixed results good and bad in one person's life so the thing here is that if sun is weak and afflicted then it gives high material desires but either the person does not work for them because you have a lot of desires you think that okay i'm going to do this and that 
but at the same time you don't stick to your goals you leave them in between the uh, the persistence the patience the hard work the sincerity the commitment the dedication the willpower is not there the stamina is not there when the work becomes hard you tend to uh, what you can say drive away from the goals and leave the things in between and hence the person is not able to stick to one task for a longer time and they sh change their goals and ambitions continuously your goals and ambitions are changing but none of them uh, are giving you success because you are not able to work for them properly then the thing here is that to so either this means gives high material desires but the person does not work for them or it can show person is seeking shortcuts uh, or any unethical corrupt means to fulfill them huh? so that that is another thing which we can see then it can bring what you can say a lot of negative qualities like corruption cunningness lies manipulation uh, indulgence in illicit and illegal activities blinded materialism hedonism for you other than money wealth luxuries pleasures and your own self nothing else matters that kind of thing people who are utterly selfish and they, they just portray to be a different kind of person so that two-faced nature that blinded materialism that hedonistic behavior that excessive greed crab mentality jealousy backbiting selfishness can be seen a lot of times in this placement uh, then it can show that initially it can bring gains but ultimately it will bring downfall initially it can bring gains of the things what you seek money wealth and other things but at the same time at a particular juncture in life at a particular point it will give loss uh, of the wealth and the status and the name also and the downfall in life then uh, the thing here is that it can show or it can also show that uh, the person is not able to uh, have a consistent career at all no career stability no growth no progression or uh, uh, many changes have been there you are not able to settle uh, professionally in your life so that can also be seen it can bring a desperate need for social validation with a portrayal of indifference so person can think uh, can portray that i don't care about other people's opinions but deep down you care a lot so desperate social validation with a portrayal of indifference can be seen sycophancy can be seen egomania can be seen uh, with a, like people who are very arrogant particularly after achieving something in life in enhances the egomania but it will be uh, a, sim a symptom that it will tell that sooner or later it's going to give downfall as well another thing is that people can fear you but they were nowhere gonna respect you and it can also show people with uh, means no confidence low self-esteem or a lot of self-doubt and uh, a person is not able to take decision properly wrong decisions poor decision lots of confusion impatient uh, means you take decisions with impatience and irrationality and um, uh, in influence of others then it can show poor willpower poor dedication irresponsibility and a person blames others for their own mis mistakes and shortcomings or failures in life blame others or blame other situations you give excuses then it can it is a bad situation for career and finances for if financial troubles career instability uh, can be seen then it can show troubles with the father or to the father troubles with the father or to the father or troubles with the uh, uh, with the bosses or siblings or friends or colleagues uh, can be seen and it can show uh, uh, what you can say people who uh, uh, like 11th house a social circle so social circle means company will be bad bad company which influences you negatively so these are negative results and two examples which i remember like good son all the characteristics of good son which i discussed uh, the example is uh, mr narendra modi uh, the uh, pm of india and he has a son in 11th house with exalted mercury very well placed and son is 10th lord so it's an excellent situation which where we can see all the good traits of a uh, son in 11th which i have discussed and one negative uh, bad example which i remember right now is vijay malya vijay malya is a uh, absconder uh, who has been uh, charged with the uh, money laundering and fraudulent, fraudulent practices regarding uh, cheating the banks and all those things so uh, he has 11th he, he he was a businessman but a, a 11th house son 
but his lagna lord is very bad lagna lord is saturn with rahu and excessively bad so ultimately sun gave rise but ultimately downfall with loss of status and everything so that is that these are two examples where we can see that yes how sun in the same house is functioning in both the cases one is good one is bad so this is how you have to check but you see the thing is that you have to see the chart in totality don't jump to conclusions immediately just by seeing one placement you have to see other placements and other combinations as well so what kind of uh, results are possible all kinds that i have told to you hope that you would have understood what general results sun can bring in 11th house if it's well placed or badly placed so that's all for today if you are new to my channel subscribe below for more check on my website and facebook page and instagram their links are shown in description otherwise we will meet in the next video till then goodbye thank you